list down all of your expenses. You really need to, need to get a really good handle on exactly what you need. You need your four walls and you need your food. That has to be priority. Then you start to list out all of the other expenses and be smart about what you can pay, how much you can pay, and make sure you're stretching your budget the best that you can. But we recommend making a budget for April, for May, for June, for July, because every month is gonna be different. I know you're big on saving money, but for those who are running out, is it okay to dip into that savings? You know, less than 60% of Americans have an, a $1,000 emergency savings. So it's hard. People have worked really hard. For those of us who have that little $1,000 put away, it could disappear rather quickly. If at all possible, try to hold on to that savings for a real savings. Right now, the government, you've got some sub subsidies coming in from the government. If you're receiving unemployment, try to utilize those funds the best that you can. Make sure you're accounting for every dollar coming in. Do that monthly budget and only use that emergency fund if you absolutely have to for those fixed incomes, your four walls and your food. When you're really looking at it, does it make the most sense to dig into that savings first or maybe try to put some of it on credit cards? Well, right now we're encouraging everybody try to keep that savings set aside. A lot of the credit card programs right now have a payback, like a cash back offer. If you have that and you're not utilizing more than 30% of your limit, it makes sense to use that money wisely put your gas, put your food on the credit card, you'll be getting that back, but be very disciplined. Take that money and automatically set that aside. Forget it, put it aside. So when that credit card bill comes in, that two and 3% cash back that you get, you're, that's really gonna be additional funds for you. So that way you can take that money, set that aside, pay off that credit card bill when that comes in. You talk about that bill coming in. Can those be deferred? Should you be reaching out to the lenders? Uh, first thing you should do, if you feel that you cannot pay your rent or your mortgage, be the first person to call. You call if you're, if you're a renter. The landlord also has to pay bills. So what you want to do is try to make a payment arrangement with him or her. Put that down on paper, get it in writing. If you can only pay, if your rent is $1,000, perhaps you can negotiate for $500, but get it in writing and have a payment plan for the rest. If it's a mortgage, contact your lenders. There's a lot available right now for mortgages for and deferred credit, payments. And same with a credit card. Some companies are also giving people some more leniency. A lot of companies are right now, or a lot of lending institutions are lending, are are doing deferred payment for credit cards, for auto loans, or for other loans. So uh, reach out, they have skip it pay. I know our credit union has a skip it pay program for up to three months. So make that call, but be the first one to call back. Okay, I wanna get to this question. What would you recommend to someone who is worried, trying to cut their budget, let alone plan a budget? What are your tips? Um, well, first of all, if you're trying to plan a budget, <laughs> if you've never had a budget, we had a budget a worksheet that we had done a few months back, if you recall. Mm -hmm. And I really recommend you to just start with that. Uh, take a look at what your family expenses are and what you really need today. Those things that are unnecessary, put those aside for now, because we don't know what the future is gonna hold over the next few months. But take that budget, use coupon apps if you have to, um, some of the other tips we say is if you're making unnecessary payments for any kind of subscriptions, maybe it's a time to cancel that. Um, you know, just really take a look at all of your expenditures. Make that wants and needs list. Sit down as a family and come together because you all have to be part of this and build it together. Um, if you have to take out something that the family relies or really loves, like, be cable TV for a little while. Um, 
you know, you make that decision together, but you set the goal to put something fun in the budget a little bit later. 